Hi, Dakota. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I am doing fabulously. Uh, you give such a beautiful performance in Daddy O. Uh, so much of the movie rests on, you know, like real communication between you and Sean Penn's character. And I know you both kind of broke down the script with Christy beforehand. Can you talk about the pre uh, preparation before filming that helped you get into character? Yeah, well, a lot of it for me was like Girlie's look um, and her clothes and, you know, a lot of just ima imaginary stuff for her. And then Sean and I did spend some time together beforehand working with Christy and um, reading through things together and, um, but it was, it was a lot, it was kind of solitary, the prep for me. It wasn't, it, we didn't rehearse, we didn't have, did we? A little bit um, at Sean's house. We, he made a little like fake car situation with a rear view mirror, like a little hand mirror duct taped to a broom that was duct taped to a chair. Um, and <laughs> that was how we rehearsed. I love that. Um, it's fascinating to me that there's like a third character in the film who's only introduced via texts and your expressions and responses to those texts tell us everything about that relationship. Um, can you talk about kind of like what goes through your mind, how you play those scenes that you're just really, you know, acting towards nothing? Yeah, well, he, the so L was really the villain. He's like the bad guy in the story. And it's so interesting to me. It was so interesting to me even like reading the script to begin with. It, it's such an amazing way to have a dark energy be present when you don't know what he looks like, what his name is, what anything about him really. And it, and it is, it makes you feel deeply disturbed. And, and I just found it so powerful. And um, I think you know, I, I guess I just understood. I understood the, the how twisted that dynamic can be, and um, how complicated, and how how. You know, at the end of the day, Girlie just is. She really wants to be loved, and that that to me just, I found it so heartbreaking and special. Um, but. You know, also th there's a fourth character, which is New York, you know. Right. So th to have these other elements at play while it's just seemingly a conversation between two people felt um, just like more, more flavor, more things to play with. Absolutely. There's so many like, you know, you guys trade secrets back and forth or kind of like revelations about each other. Was there any one aspect um, in that script that stood out to you most? Like any detail about Gurley that really stayed with you? I, I think I loved that she has this like underlying mischief the whole time where she, you know, is in a cab with a man, he's a stranger, he's saying like fairly inappropriate things occasionally. And she's like, okay, <laughs> great, like, let's go. You know, she's not threatened by it. She's not gonna jump out of the car and, you know, be be traumatized by it. She's she's curious and mischievous and and you know can can really support herself in this dynamic. Absolutely. Um, I love seeing you work with so many amazing women in the industry. I'm like very excited for you to, for your team up with Celine Song. What is it that you want to bring forth to audiences with these projects that you do? It's kind of different every time I work, but I, I guess I, I, it is becoming more and more clear to me as I continue to work in this industry and kind of broaden my career that telling stories about like human connection and, and, and honest people, women, men, you know, being true, even though it may not be popular or acceptable, is more important, is, is becoming more and more important to me. I love that. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you did you. a great job. <laughs> Thank you.